Okay, hello there everyone and welcome to Deltarune. Uh, this is a game made uh, by... Uh, Toby Glee? I, I, I'm so... I've completely forgotten the guy's name, I apologise. Same fellow who made Undertale anyway. Uh, this was a game that was requested, because obviously my Undertale playthrough went down very, very well. Um, so I've been asked to play this game, and literally the game is running in windowed mode. You can't change it. This is what this is how the game starts when you open the game. The actual name of the game is called Survey Program on Windows. The window is called Contact. And when I installed this game, this is the uh, uh, license agreement that I kept, that, that, that I got uh, had to agree to somewhere around here. And it's very worrying, isn't it? So yeah, uh, I don't know a massive amount about this game. Um, the only thing I do know is that obviously it's made by the same guy who made Undertale, and as you can already tell, it's going to be pretty wacky judging purely based on what I've seen so far. Um, also, I do know that this is only chapter one of the game. There's not a full release for this game yet. It is, It has been announced, but it's not been released. So chances are I'll probably come back to this at some point when I do finish chapter one. So it's probably going to be quite short, I imagine. Uh, it is free at the moment. You can all download it. If you just search Deltarune on, the, on Google, you will find it. Um, apparently there are characters from Undertale in this, but it's not set in the same world, which is bizarre, but it's also designed for people who are finished in the sale. So I, I, I don't know what to expect. Obviously the, the little heart's still there, and like the, the graphic style is kind of the same from what I've seen so far. So I don't know what to expect at this point, but I guess we're going to find out. So let's, let's get started here. Um, so there's a bunch of heads that are from. Looks like we're female. I mean, from what I can see, we're female. So, I'm gonna go, I think, with this hair. Or this head. I pressed enter. Apparently, enter what? You can select a specific torso. What? They all look identical? Well, look for, I can notice small differences. I mean, th that one looks good. Yeah, I'll go with that one. Do I have legs as well? I, I also have legs. I I I'm 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 creating every single part of my character here. Th this this honestly is wild. I can't believe this. There are very minute differences. Is this just like the length of the legs? Is there? I mean, that looks good. We'll go with that. This is your body. Do you accept it? Yes or no? Yes. This is more extensive character creation than Dragon Age 2, it's official. It, not quite, but you know, wow. You've created a wonderful form. Now, let us shape its mind as your own. Oh god, this, this, is getting, this game is going to be so weird. What is its favourite food? Sweet, soft, sour, salty, pain or cold? Pain? I bet pain, it, pain is like a hard mode or something. I w it wouldn't surprise me. Because apparently in, in Undertale, if you, if you typed in the actual name of the character, which you find out later on in the game, as your name first off, it like starts a hard mode in, the, in like the first level. It's, it's actually crazy. I would say soft. I quite like soft foods. Like, like you know, like... Small, like chew, like you know, like chewy cookies, like nice, like soft cookies, stuff like that, and you know, like 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 pain or chocolates, you know, th things like that, rolls, etc. You know, breaded things. I love, I, I love bread. So soft. Your favorite blood type? What? A A B B C D. I I shit you not. I don't know what blood type I am. I honestly don't know. I will go for B. I like, I, I prob probably B. What, what colour does it like, Ghost? I'm a big fan of blue. Please give it a gift. 
Kindness, mind, ambition, bravery, or a voice. I wonder if this actually affects the game. I get the feeling it might do it, in like, maybe in subtle ways. To see... I consider, like, I, I like to think I'm a kind person. I'm not particularly smart, I don't think. Um, ambition, uh, I don't know much of that. Bravery, not much of that either. I've got a voice. Uh, so I'm going to say kindness or voice. I will give it kindness. How do you feel about your creation? It will not hear. I, 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 no, I, I have hope for my creation. Have you answered honestly? Yes. You acknowledge the possibility of pain and seizure. Yes. Understood. Name your vessel. I bet, I, I bet there's probably a name here which you can put in. I, I can't remember what the name the main character of Undertale was. I think it was like... What was it? Flip? Trip? No. I can't remember what it was. I think I feel like it was something, something beginning with F. But I, I can't remember. Was it Hitch? Hitch? No. I don't know. I can't remember. I, I'm going to be Craig. We called it Craig. And what about the creator? Your own name. Oh, shit. Can I also call myself Craig? Craig. Craig. Of course. Of course. Of course. They are the same. <laughs> Craig. Thank you for your time, your answers, your wonderful creation will now be discarded. No! No one can choose who they are in this world. Your name is... Chris! Well, it's similar. Oh, it's Toriel! Toriel! Hello! Chris, if you do not wake up, we will be late for school. Oh, God, okay, fine. Toriel! I will not kill you this time. I I, 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 can't, I can't believe I killed her in the first game. It's so, so mean. I'll wait outside for you, alright? Yay. Toriel. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, my God, I, 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 look, I, look, I look strange. I think I kind of have the same hair that I created. It's a red wagon with a rusty birdcage in it. Looks like it's seen quite a few crashes. Yeah. Just like my PC. It's a computer desk. There are many boxes under it filled with old books. The drawer is mostly empty except for a school cross-country show with a tear in it. Nice. There are CDs under the bed. Classical, jazz, religious, ska. There's also a game console. There's one normal controller and one knockoff one. That's uh, that. That's very appropriate. Oh no 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 no! I thought I thought there might be like a different um thing for it. Okay, no. What's, what's outside? It's a beautiful day outside. Oh, it's nice. Clothes drawer. Your bed. Okay, I guess we'll head outside. Go, let's go and see Toriel. Oh, we're okay. We 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 have a house. That's good. Tales of snails are story. Snails do not have tails. Scientific reputation. Can snails help your garden? Um, not really. And a signed copy of The History of Humans and Monsters by Gerson Boom. Okay. What's the way out, though, I wonder? Pro probably probably that, but to the right. The cactus, there's not much to say about it. I'm pretty sure there was a cactus, a cactus in the house in the first game. There are crayons in the drawer. Their labels have long faded. There's no green. It's only you. The door is locked. Damn it. I th it, it is this the same house that Toriel had in the first game? It, I mean, it might be similar. What's this door? Oh, it's a bathroom. You looked inside the sink cupboard. There's a can of Icy's Cool Boys body spray. Spray for the boys. Flaming hot... Flaming hot pizza flavor? It's the toilet. Flush it. Yes. 
You flushed the toilets. Excellent. Level up. On the shower ledge, there's a small container of apple-scented shampoo and a gallon-sized container of pet shampoo. Yeah, that sounds about right. That's I think that's very reflective of humans these days, actually. What's in the fridge? Can I can I can I have a snack? No, I cannot. It's of you, your mother, and your brother. Okay. There is some white fur stuck in the drain. Oh my god. There's some cin cinnamony batter caked on the stove top. Ooh. Toriel, you cook cutters for gingerbread monsters and gingerbread humans. Ugh. It's a trash can. Somehow it's emitting a pleasant floral scent. Oh god, these the, the, these these horrible trash cans. It's a landline phone, but you already have a cell phone. Well, you know, it's it it's Cheriel, the beloved living room chair. It's the TV. Doesn't seem to be plugged in anymore. Has Toriel just gave up? What's this? What's this? It's a book of hymns. Okay. Chris, there you are. We might still be able to make it. Well, I, I... Chris, it is a beautiful day today, is it not? I hope it stays this way when Asriel visits next week. But I wonder, after the excitement of university, will he still enjoy coming home to this little town? Home is where the heart is, I'm, I'm sure. Oh, what the hell is this? There's a cat family. Is that an alligator there? There's a, there's a library with a... Is that, what was that police officer? I don't, I'm not even sure. Well, here's the school. It's, I get the feeling this game's already going to be great. I, you know. Oh, she's holding my hand. Oh, Toriel. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, Toriel. No, don't go. I want to stay with you. I don't want to go to school. Fuck you. I remember him vaguely, but I can't remember what his name is, unfortunately. So does everyone have a... Hello. Oh, Chris, we thought you weren't coming today. We're doing group projects this month. Uh, so walk around and find a partner, okay? You... you... You want me to pick a partner, you check the time. It seems to be time for class, you don't say. The computer wallpaper is, is a rotating slideshow of nature images, and rarely an image of, of two buff superheroes embracing, blushing. What the hell? It's a bunch of roses. What? What? What, what am I watching on my phone? It's schoolwork, of course. Uh, animated schoolwork, and... Hey, Chris, have you chosen a partner yet? Ah, it's a bit weird. Hello! Who, who, who looks the coolest? This one does, actually. Hey, Chris, what's up? Did you lose your pencil again? Hey, you want the candy cane or the one with lights on it? Huh? You want to be partners? Uh, I'm sorry, Birdly already asked me. But I could ask Mrs. Alphys if we make group three. I'll ask if you're sure. Not yet. I'm sure there's someone else you can ask. Who's this? Ah, Chris, late again, I see. Hmm, you need a partner? Sorry, I'm already partners with the second smart student. So oh, wait, Chris, now that I think about it, your unique skill set might help a lot on this assignment. <laughs> Not, I actually want to get an A. What a dick. Fuck you. Everything you stand for. Crisp, our very versos. Tem already have partner. Did you just put an egg on the... What? It's a black and white hard-boiled egg. Sadly, it seems like it already has a partner. Your partner's with a hard-boiled egg. Right, who's this? Yo, Chris, show up early next time. I ended up having to partner with Snowy, haha. <laughs> now he keeps turning to me and saying howdy partner like a cowboy. Fantastic. Partner? I heard in Noah. Haha, <laughs> what do you think of that one? Funny, right? Oh dear. No? Well, I got news for you, pal. I already got a partner. Scram. Why is everyone mean? Hello. Click, click, tap, tap. Taken. Ask elsewhere, Chris, I actually want to get in here. If you can't get anyone, maybe your mum will be a partner again. Oh, Chris, you know Jockinson and Cassie are always partners. We're the ultimate academic duo ever since our first gym class. It was Hula Hoop Day and they ran out of hoops for us. So she used me instead, that's our origin story. Okay, I guess we have to partner with the, 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 the three? I mean, she seems the nicest, so that's good. Okay, I'll ask. Miss Alphys, is it okay if we have a group of three? Hey, what? No, I do not approve this. Abort. What? But Chris doesn't have a... 
Noelle, what were you saying? She was just saying we're fine being alone. Actually, I just wanted to know if... Noelle, can you please speak up? Whoa! Hi, Susie. What the hell, the hell is this? But um, Am I late? Oh, no, you're fine. We were just uh, choosing partners for the next group project, and... Uh, Susie, you're with Chris. Oh, this, this is not going to end well. She seems like an absolute bully, I'm guessing. Great. Sweating profusely. Now that everyone's here, I'll write the assignment. Uh. Uh, has anyone seen the chalk? This is the third time it's gone missing, and you all know I can't start class without some. How about this? If no one speaks up, everyone gets in trouble. Oh, it's intimidating. Uh, anyone? Please? Hey, there might be a box in the supply closet. Miss Alphys, why don't Susie and I... Good idea, Noelle. Susie, since you came in last, why don't you go and get it for me? Uh, whatever. <laughs> she seems happy. Uh, Chris, can you go with her and make sure she uh, actually gets it and uh, stays out of trouble? Thanks, Chris. See you later. So I think uh, we're going to end this episode here now, guys, after this interesting interesting beginning. Uh, the window has now actually changed to being called the beginning as opposed to, like, uh, contact. So it's, uh, yeah, it's it's quite interesting. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this, guys. It's been a very intriguing start to Delta Rune. I hope, we I hope to see you in the next episode. And uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and share if you have enjoyed. And I'll catch you in the next episode of Delta Room. Thanks again, guys. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.